amongst other things, they talk about the resignation of Bishop Doug Howard Mills and uh, uh, the matters arising where they say no one leader can have all their preferences, methods and approaches accepted. In this changed and unfamiliar context, some would prefer to leave the trusteeship. Now, that particular point is on the back that a number of church leaders have come together. Some of them have built and run their own churches. However, now that they've come together, they need to forfeit or go away or deal, leave some of the principles they carry, which they've used to build their church, and come to a compromised position where different heads can share ideas for the better. That letter also goes on to say, Bishop Doug Edward Mills, who voluntarily left the trusteeship still remains committed to the vision of the National Cathedral and wants to see it completed to God's glory. And uh, so if, if you go to our website, 3news.com, you'll get the full details of the statement that was released by the Secretariat, which was more or less in response to a number of the concerns that was raised by um, Bishop Doug Hayward Mills in his resignation letter, where he touched on a number of issues including the fact that they, the trustees, need to be taking some concrete decisions and not necessarily government. But he believes that uh, the influence of government or the, the current administration on the trusteeship and their decision on the church was a little bit much, for which reason he resigned. So that was a response. Uh, the details you'll find on our website, 3news.com. In a related development, the